Good morning, everybody. I am so glad I am hot. It has warmed up to four degrees. <laughs> Seriously, though, it has. It's warmed up to four degrees outside, and it's going to get up to a whopping eight here pretty soon. Everything is just like a frozen tundra out here. You can see like the, I don't know, you guys probably can't see it here, but you can see where it's ice underneath the snow there. And it's not just regular ice, it's it's been below zero ice, so it is solid. Things are about to get a little cray cray for a bit because I am going to start taking my hydroxy cut again. Now I know in one way this is a bad idea because I've been trying to get my sleep schedule back in order here and hydroxy cut keeps me up. <sighs> However, I have stopped losing the weight, um, or at least it's been going real slow and then I'll kind of bounce back and it'll go slow again. And, and one of the things that I stopped doing before was taking this hydroxy cut. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this kind of stuff, but when I take this, it does help me, and I want to get rid of this fat. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of seeing myself on these videos sitting in a chair, and I look like Jabba the Hutt. That just makes me sick to my stomach, and I can't stand it. So I've got to be more strict. I've got to pay more attention to what I'm doing and give more focus to uh, this way of eating. And I may even do an egg fast here coming up this next week. I've done an egg fast before. Actually, I have videos, I think, at the beginning of this. No, not this channel. It's on my uh, Nate Guy One channel where, uh, where I started that channel doing an egg fast for three days. Um, you know what? Now that I think about it, today is supposed to be a weigh-in day, too. I haven't weighed for a few days, but I was at 3.30 when I did, which I think is exactly what I was last month when I weighed in, which was only two weeks ago because I was late doing it because I don't I don't know. I don't remember what the circumstances were, but I said that I wanted to start doing my weigh-ins on the first of every month. So, um, yeah, but that's where it stands right now. We're just going to go with 3.30 right now because that's what I was like a couple days ago. So, um, I don't know. Here's to starting over. That doesn't mean that I've cheated on it because I haven't. I just haven't given it enough focus and attention and I need to use my treadmill. I, I, I think about my treadmill every day. <laughs> and that was a big plan of coming into the new year, you know, to use that thing every day. But part of that depended on me getting up at seven o'clock every day. And I'm trying to get used to this whole schedule of daily vlogging now, um, making these videos anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes long and and filming all day long but then I end up sitting around editing all night long which sometimes is literally six hours and I'll go to bed between 2 and 6 a.m. every night and I certainly can't get back up at 7 a.m. if that's happening <sighs> so it's just a, it's a matter of finding that balance and uh, I need to make that promise to myself that dedication that I'll use that treadmill every single day and if that means at different times every day, then so be it. That's what it has to be. But as for today, we are going to make some, uh, let's see, I have some of that pizza left that I made yesterday. So I'm going to have that for lunch. And then I have three or four of these wraps left. I picked up some of this hot sauce yesterday. And I'm going to make some uh, breakfast burritos a little bit later today. I wish I had some picante sauce. How many times have I said that? I remember myself distinctly opening this fridge several times on video saying, I wish I had some picante sauce, and I don't. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to make some, uh, some breakfast burritos a little bit later today. And um, they should be absolutely delicious. So stick around for that. Oh, guys, look. Here's the elusive squirrel that comes to destroy my trash. Hey buddy, how you doing there? There he goes running. Excuse me. <laughs> he destroys my trash. I have got to get some trash cans. But anyways, that's what we're gonna do today, or at least later on, make those burritos. I put the new memory sticks in my, uh, my laptop so those are ready to roll for 
doing some editing on my laptop. I'm going to be trying that out very soon. And I just pray to God that it makes it work so much faster. That is a big focus of mine constantly, is making everything that I do work faster, 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 so that I can fit more into my day. Because I have about 45 hours of work to do every day in about a 20 hour period. So here's hoping that will speed up my laptop and, uh, and make editing a lot easier. Okay guys, so right now, first thing I need to do today is to get up a video that I made of an eBay haul. Uh, well, I guess it's a Goodwill haul. Um, things that I bought for eBay. Some of them you've already seen in the morning shows. And some of them I kept under wraps so that I could show you in this specific video because a lot of people have been saying they like the eBay videos and uh, that they want me to make separate eBay videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I like that idea, that's what I used to do um, all the time. I had a channel called Buckeye State Picker and that's what I did on YouTube. So right now I need to create an intro for anything eBay related. So what I wanna do is like I wanna have a picture of the bee and I wanna have a picture of me and I wanna have like, um, I'm not sure what in the background, maybe a Goodwill, maybe some eBay stuff. I will, uh, I'll decide that in a minute, but the first thing I'm doing is using a program called GIMP to extract a picture of the bee from the background that it's in. So I'm basically gonna cut the bee out of um, a picture where it was sitting in the graveyard, and I'm gonna use that as part of my intro. I'll show you this. So basically we start with a big picture of the bee here. I've made it about 200% so it's much bigger and I can get around the edges better, the little details. Um, we choose this over here, we make sure we give it a transparent background, and then we'll start like right up here. And in this program, GIMP, it's, it's basically like a Photoshop program. You go around and make tiny little clicks around the edge of whatever it is that you wanna uh, cut out of the, of the picture. In this case, it's the bee, and we are taking it out of the graveyard. So let me just go around here and do some clicks. And this is how I create a lot of my uh, thumbnails for YouTube. Just go around and cut things out, and, uh, and then you figure out how you're going to put them in different layers over top of whatever you want to be your background or whatever. So you see we're going all around this. And then we move it over so we can access the rest of it all the way back to the tire. And I'm not sure if the entire car is going to be in the final intro picture. Probably. That's, that's kind of how I envision it. The whole car. And then me kind of standing by it, you know go around all the little details here stay as close to the edge as you possibly can and it does take some time I mean it's it's not a quick process if you want it to look good okay we select from path and we select an invert so that it's choosing all the area around the car now let me make this a little smaller so you can see this happen. So you see we've got a trail all around. That's basically like scissors is what that is. So now when I hit delete, it takes the background away. And all I'm left is, with is the car with a transparent background. Save that, export, and there we go. Now we've got this file right here, which is the, the car with no background. And now I can open that up in a different program and I can put that on top of any kind of a background that I want. If I want snow falling in the background, um, I can layer it where I can have like me standing beside the bee and then a goodwill in the background and snow falling down over that. I can have the snow falling down in front of the car. I can have the snow falling down in back of the car. There's all kinds of cool things you can do. I love this kind of stuff. By the time you see this video, you will have seen the completed intro. But I just kind of wanted to show you um, the process, you know, of just of cutting something out from the background. It's pretty amazing. Now, of course, you're still going to be able to see, like, some of the graves in the background through the window of the bee. 
but it's going to be so small on there that you're not really going to catch that, you know? Now that I've told you, now you'll see it. In fact, I think I'm actually going to use a different picture of a bee that doesn't have uh, that graveyard through the window there. This one looks really cool and I love it, but that will drive me crazy knowing that that graveyard is in there. All right, guys, we are ready to make, hold on, I forgot the bacon bits. All right, now we're ready to make some breakfast burritos. All right, these are gonna be super simple. I think I got three of these wraps left. I use these all the time. This is what I show you every single time I make something with wraps. Olay is the brand, absolutely delicious. We got real bacon bits. We got sausage, it's not Jimmy Dean or even Bob Evans. It's great value but I wanted to give it a shot. It's only $2 a roll, and I mean, worst case scenario, it's nasty. I really doubt it's gonna be though. So um, we'll give it a shot, we'll see. We got onion, cheese, hot sauce, and of course, eggs. Okay, first things first, we're gonna do the sausage. We're only gonna use about half this sausage and we're gonna taste it first to make sure it is good before we mix it up in a burrito. I'll tell you what, I love Jimmy Dean, but I hate paying $4 a roll. If this stuff is good, this is gonna be my new go-to sausage. At $2 a roll, you just, you can't beat it. While that sausage cooks, I'm gonna scramble me up some eggs. That's ready to roll. I chopped up some onions, but not too many because they have carbs in them. I don't know if I want to put the bacon bits in or not. I don't think so. I think I'll save those for salads. Put away the things I'm done with. That sausage is cooking up pretty good. Let's get a little taste to make sure. Yeah, that's good. A little bit of olive oil. Bit of butter. Keep our eggs from sticking. There's just something about the mixture of olive oil and butter that really helps eggs to not stick. I don't know what it is, but if I use just butter or just olive oil, it doesn't work the same. Awesome, I love it when I'm making something and it doesn't stick to the pan. Okay guys, now here's the deal. We're gonna use the Taco Bell hot sauce on these because it just tastes delicious. But you could use sugar-free syrup on these, uh, on these burritos. But they're burritos. So we're gonna use hot sauce on burritos. All right, guys, so there you have it. Now, the more stuff you put in these, obviously, the harder it is to roll them up. But there you have it. Everything rolled up in there. Sausage, cheese, a little bit of uh, eggs, some hot sauce, onions. Nothing real fancy. It's real easy. And let's... It smells good. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. That's delicious. Now, like I said in the beginning... If we had a little bit of picante sauce, that would be even better than the hot sauce. I've just always loved picante sauce on breakfast burritos, and uh, these are absolutely delicious. And like I said, so easy, low carb. Basically, the only carbs you're getting, a little bit from the onion, a little bit from the cheese, and like four carbs from the wrap. Breakfast burritos at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> I could go for some coffee with this and actually I could have it because I have to take my son to the airport at like two o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna be up for a while. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is all I've spilled so far too. I'm doing good. All right guys, I'm gonna go finish this and uh, I'm probably gonna eat another one actually because they're so good and I'm hungry boy. The eBay video is up if you guys have not seen it yet. The one that I was cutting out the car earlier in this show for 
and uh, I did end up using another picture of the car because it turned out better. I think you guys will really like the intro if you haven't seen it yet. Go check that out. And there's going to be some more of those coming at least once a week. So wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Let's make this world a better place. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <music>